Hi, this is Greg with RV Coco. Hey, I did an interview with the inventor of the Easy Store Hitch. Uh, stick around. I want you guys to hear a little bit about how he came up with this idea, uh, how great this product is, and why you need one. My name is Terry Nearing. My company is TRN Industries. My product is the Easy Store Hitch. The Easy Store Hitch is a device that's designed specifically for the weight distribution hitch system to allow you to store it securely right on the front of your camper. It gives you the opportunity to not have to take up your valuable storage space or worse, leave it on the ground at campgrounds for a while you have it in storage at your storage slot. It, um, it, this, it clamps onto the trailer frame so there's no drilling. It literally only takes about 15 minutes to install. It's fully adjustable, which allows it to clear any cables, gas lines, anything like that you have. And once it's installed, it's as simple as slide your bars in and drop your head in from the top, and it locks and locks your head in with your uh, hitch pin, and it keeps it all nice and locked and secured. So that describes, I mean, pretty much how it works, you know, and, and you know, the folks at home that are going to be listening into this, you know, they're going to see the images. We're going to have, you know, clips of video and images, so it, so it makes sense mm -hmm. there, too. Um, so, yeah, so okay. it's really simple. I mean, it's this device bolts to the frame, stays there so it's secure, and like you said, it's it's a place where it's up out of the dirt. Uh, you're not taking up your storage space, and, and it's secure. You can actually lock it up and not worry about anybody right. taking your taking your hitch. I yeah, think actually, it doesn't it doesn't bolt to the frame. I have it where it clams it clams on clamps onto the frame. That's right. Um, so you know, so you're not drilling into the frame. So because my whole intent was that if people have trailer warranties and I don't want to get involved with anybody having to try to drill or weld into the frame. Um, it basically, it clamps, you have four bolts that clamps uh, brackets from the bottom to the top, and it clamps it all right on there, so it keeps it nice and secured. And like I said, it's got a whole bunch of adjustment holes, so it allows you to adjust it, you can make it fit with the majority of the campers out there. What's, I mean, there, there's nothing else like this out there, is there? I mean, this no, is, this is the only device like that that I've ever seen. Yeah, it's, it's um, I've applied for the patent, it's a patent pending when we did a patent search. Um, nothing, there's nothing out there on the market like it, and since I've been out showing it to industry insiders who've been in the industry for a long time, um, nobody's seen anything like it. And everybody's one of those things, but I can't believe someone hasn't come up with this before type of product because it just yeah. still makes so much sense when you see it. And actually, when you start to use it, you realize things. This is just, you know, it just makes the life a whole lot easier because the hitch is kept right on the front of the camper, right where. Right where you use the hitch at, so you don't have to haul the, haul the hitch around, you know, mm -hmm. anything like that. It's, it's, you can stand right there and drop it right in from, you know, right within steps of where you, from where it's hooked up to your vehicle at. So. Yeah, yeah. Now, I meant to ask you, too, how, how, how did you come up with the idea? I mean, like, what was, what was your background before you came up with this, and how did you come up with it? Well, basically, how I came up with the idea is um, when I bought my camper, I bought an equalizer hitch, and anybody who's got the equalizer hitch has realized how heavy they are, and the bars are how heavy they are. And when I got would get done camping, I take the hitch, I take the bars off, and I initially try to figure out where I'm gonna keep them at. So, yeah. I, you know, I don't want to have to haul them home. So I looked in the storage, and the storage department we already had our chairs and had all the stuff that the kids' toys, the things we wanted to take camping with us to make camping fun. So I said, well, I can't put it there, and plus it's all greasy and stuff. So I said, well. I'll use the bright idea. I'll put it inside the door of the camper on the floor. I'll just put a towel down to keep the grease off the floor. Well, I did that. I laid it on the floor, put a towel down, laid it on the floor inside my camper, my brand new camper, mm, and yeah. said, oh, okay, that's fine. And uh, so like a month later, we go out to go camping again, and I go by and I open up and I pull the hitch out and I put it on and off. I lift up the towel and I'm like, oh my gosh, here it indented my new camper's flooring. The linoleum got all indented on the flooring yeah. right when you come in the door. And I'm like, oh, my goodness. And I said, my wife's not going to be happy with this. You know, our yeah. brand-new camper's got the big indent and all the heavy weight from the hitch. But I didn't think about the weight indent, uh, indenting the linoleum. Oh, yeah. So then I started looking around. So I started looking around trying to find out what else, you know, what's out there, where, you know, how I can, you know, store this hitch. And there was nothing. I could not find anything. So I started saying, well, you know, I've got to come up with something. I've got to think of something, a way to do this. And then, you know, as things go on, life goes on, and things happen. Um, it sort of got put on the back burner. So some things happened, and, and I'm like, well, you know what? It's time for me to look at trying to do this. And so I started looking at the camper, looking at other campers, saying, where's space at that's not used that I could make this product, make a product that would work? Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And I've realized that that majority of the campers, there's room between where the propane tanks are and the front of the camper, that is basically unused room. Um, you know, and you never tell put anything there. It's right where the battery box is. The battery box is, you slide the battery box over. And, you know, there's plenty of room because it's, it, it's a very narrow. And so I said, you know, I can make something that, will, that would work. So when you put the bars in, the bars would go down between the A-frames so they're not hanging out. Mm-hmm. And when they're going down the road, there's not much, you know, the only, there's only one little portion that hangs out on the outside of the frame. And so that's why I started doing it. And I basically started going through prototypes and started out with this, like the typical inventor with a cardboard prototype, and things like that. And then I finally got it down to where... I had it made out of steel and did an initial testing and realized I had to make it adjustable, um, so I had to go back. And then, you know, this is a typical invention yeah. type of thing. And then when I got it, finally got to the point where I'm like, okay, this is actually going to work. And so that's when I did the patent application and did all that work because, again, it's so low, it's such a simple device that I knew I had to get it, pat, you know, get my patent pending going so to protect myself. Yeah. Um, because I haven't, you know, once I think people get it out there and start seeing it at campgrounds and seeing other people having it, they're going to realize, saying this is an awesome device to have to to take take it, you know, address the issue of where to put this big old heavy hitch at and yeah. keep it out of the way and keep it nice and secure down. So that's that's basically the background of how I came up with the thought and how I proceeded to go about doing it. So yeah, perfect. I I would agree. There's there's definitely a need for that, you know, because. Uh... Man, there's just there's just no really good place to put that hitch. You know, no, it's, a lot it's... of people, you know, they, they they you know, at the campgrounds they'll like even lay them on the ground or they'll like leave it hooked in the back of a truck, which everybody knows how shin killers those are when you hit oh, it, yeah. you know. Oh, and yeah. then uh um and then when you're at home it's like you gotta take it and put it in your garage floor now it's gonna be laying in the garage floor, laying all over your garage. Um, and you're bumping into it, and then when you always go to get your camper, you're like, oh, no, crap, I, I forgot the bar, you know, you know, <laughs> yeah. it's, 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 you know yeah, exactly, so, you know, so this way it keeps all right there, right where your camper is, and when you're not using your camper, there's no need to have that big heavy hitch on your truck, you know, to haul that extra weight around or on your vehicle, so. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Now, have you seen any uh, or, or heard any feedback uh, about the product that maybe, you know, it's, it, you know, we talked before, and it's one of those things where you kind of have to see it in action uh, to see how it works and anything, everything like that. But is there any other, maybe a misconception about how it works, or, or you think people maybe misunderstand what it is? It's one of those products that that's not, there's nothing on the market like it. People yeah. don't quite understand exactly how it works, but the, the people that I've gotten it to and who bought it, um, once they get it in their hands, they realize they're like, oh my goodness, this is so simple to put on, so mm-hmm. simple to use, it makes so much sense. And they get it, and it's one of the products you get right away. It comes pre assembled, um, it's all put together. The only thing you're going to do is drop the four bolts in and make adjustments and lock it all in and tighten it all down with your bolts, and it's ready to go. Yeah. So it's a, the other side of it is that a lot of people have the impression that there's no room for it to fit. Uh, and I tell them, I said, I said, I look, I go to the industry show up in uh, Louisville mm-hmm. and looked at all of the campers, and there's probably maybe 2% of the campers I saw that had like a V-nose. It won't work with a V-nose camper. But other than that, all the campers, because it's only the, the base plate is only 8 inch by 8 inch, and that's all the space you need. Because once you have that 8 inch by 8 inch space on your tongue between the gas tanks and the trailer, it's as simple as the, the, the bar channel that holds the bars goes down between the A-frame. And it's it's only it's like six inches wide, so it's narrower. So it's and that's a misconception a lot of people say when they first see it. They're like, you know, I don't think I have space in my camper. And I said, yes, yeah. you do. And 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 you know that's why, I mean, like your website rvcoco.com offers, mm-hmm. you know, the free returns and stuff like that. If they get it and it doesn't, you can't make it work on your camper. You know, I mean, you know, they just return it. I mean, it's not yeah. a it's Absolutely. not a big thing because I mean the whole intent is so my intent is I'm I'm a camper. I want, you know, I, I go camping to get away from housing. I want to enjoy my yeah. time away. But, you know, whatever well, time we get away, to enjoy it. And so I, I approach this product as a camper um, because a couple things that I have done too with it, besides making it fully adjustable the way it works on the majority of trailers, like I said, mm-hmm. is I, I started going researching trailer frames. And trailer frames surprisingly go from like two and a half inches to six and a half inches. Yeah. I mean, there's a huge, huge difference assortment in trailer frames. Well, I started looking at it and tried to find uh, bolts to, for the clamping function of it. 
that would fit on all the frames. And unfortunately, they don't make one bolt that would cover the whole range. Mm-hmm. Um, and and uh, so basically, I went back and said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and include two sets of, four, of the four bolts, the two clamping, the four clamping bolts. Mm-hmm. I'm going to cl- include two sets, a shorter a six-inch one and a seven-inch one, so it'll fit on any trailer frame. Yeah, that's and, great. You know, you're not going to have to. You're not going to have to get it when you get the box and you open up the parts box and the parts. You got to put it on there. You're going to have what you need to make it work with your trailer frame. You're not going to have to run to Home Depot and pick up some more bolts or hardware and stuff like that. Which, because we all know that. I mean, that's what yeah. I'm saying. If I look up and go, if I don't do it, people are going to get it and they have to have a really big wide frame. They won't be able to use a shorter bolt. Yeah, they're going to be upset. And I, because I'd be upset. I'd be like, why did I buy this and now I got to go to Home Depot? So I just <laughs> like, you know what? I'm going to include whatever's in, whatever they should need to make this an easy to put on. And, I mean, the feedback I get to people tell me it takes them from five minutes to, to 15 minutes. And it's mostly the longest time is just getting the adjustment down right. And once you get the adjustment down, you lock it down. You lock the bolt down so it doesn't bounce or doesn't make any rattle noises or anything when you're going on the road. Mm-hmm. Um, it, you know, it, 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 there's no uh, – and it, the biggest thing is that you've got to keep the – you just got to make sure when you slide your bars in that the, the, the bar tray is adjusted the angle that it stops it from, you know, hitting any cables or gas lines. Because as long as you don't hit the cables or gas lines, you're, you're golden on it. So Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. And, that's, and it sounds easy. I mean, it's, like you said, it's it just takes a few minutes to make some adjustments and get it bolted in and you're ready to go. I love that. Yeah, it's a very simple, you know. And then once it's, once it's bolted in, you know, um, the only thing I say is everybody every you know, like a lot of things that came for about every three months or so, you just go back and we make sure the bolts, you know, the nuts are still tight, everything's still tight on it. Yep. And, you know, so you don't have any problems with it, you know, coming loose going down the road or anything like that. But I do use yep. flange nuts. I've got built-in serrated edges, so it uh, takes it to act as a locking washer yeah. to keep it so once you lock it down, it, it shouldn't vibrate loose anyway. So, yeah, um, And the, the nice thing is when you go to use it, the one big thing is I made it, is I made it completely universal. It'll fit. I have yet to find a... a type of hitch that this won't work with. Mm-hmm. It works with the round bars. It works with the flat bars. It works with the trunnion head bars. Um, blue locks, um, it works with blue locks. The blue locks does require you to buy an extra padlock um, because the way the blue locks works, they don't have a hole through the bars. They have to okay. change, so you have to padlock the chains down. And there's, there's pictures, um, you know, that's available that you can look at yeah. Um, yeah. on how the, how the different bars are and how they work. But that's the only thing that somebody may have to buy. If they have the blue locks type of hitch, Okay. Um, they would have to buy an, uh, an extra padlock. I didn't throw that in the box because it's just, you know, I, I didn't want. I basically wanted to keep it universal. So yeah. if you change hitch styles or something like that, it's um, it'll work with any of the hitch styles you have. Yeah. Perfect. And you know, like I said, you basically you put your bars in, you slide your bars in, and then once you drop the, drop the head in, how it works when you put the head in, it stops the bars from being able to be removed, and then you take your hitch pin and put your hitch pin through the through your your normal hitch pin and lock the the big head in. And it keeps it all nice and secured right on the front of the camper there. So you're not having to grease in the dirt and the grime or trying to mm-hmm. pick up the heavy hitch and put it in the side of the compartment and bang in the side of your camper and all that stuff with it. Like a lot of people, I, you know, the feedback I get is like, oh, good, I don't have to, you know, hassle with taking it and put it in my store thing or hassle with taking it home. So yeah. um, that's the feedback I keep getting on it. I like to ask people what's – you know, what's the your earliest memory of, of RV camping, not necessarily tent camping, but – like for me, it was, uh, you know, I, I remember my grandpa's overhead. I can't remember if it was a truck camper or a Class C, but all I remember is being so excited about getting up in that thing and <laughs> going down the right. highway, you know, and, and seeing the traffic. And, and that was the that was the craziest, most exciting thing for me as a little, little kid. You know, I was probably five or six years old. But uh, I'm curious, you know, what's – uh, do you have a, a story like that or just a real great spot or, or you know, a, a memorable uh, RV camping trip? Sure. Um, one of the things is that um, I'm, a, I'm a camper. I've been a lifelong camper. One of the, one of the, the coolest pictures I found is when I was literally one year old, um, <laughs> lived in Wisconsin. I'm standing in the front yard at our house, and in the background there's this converted school bus camper. Um, so oh, wow. I've camped my whole life. I mean, it's like... Um, so every weekend we took off camping uh, around different places in Wisconsin. Um, and then when I moved to Florida and Florida now, when we moved to Florida when I was eight, every summer we took our camper and went back up to Wisconsin, spent two months in Wisconsin at our camper. And then we came back and stayed in North Carolina for a month. And it was just, and then that was back 
when the campers were really small. It was a small <laughs> camper. It didn't, have a, it, it didn't have a shower. It just had a toilet in the back with a sink in the back. Yeah. And there was my mom and dad and, my, and two, older, two of my sisters. And so there was five of us in this little camper, but it was just great times and, and uh, go. So it's like, I, it's one of those things is like I, when I talk to people in person and tell them about, it's like I'm not one of these people that I'm trying to come in and just make money off of our readers. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm an RV or by, you know, I've been an RV in my whole life. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's in my blood, you know, it's, I, I just love going out camping. And, and like I said, and, and the whole intent when I, you know, when I was thinking about this is this is such, you know, it's, you don't want to do, you don't want to have things while you're camping that make you upset. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. just the thorn hitches, put, where to put the hitch and stuff. I mean, I've seen it. I've, it caused arguments in, in my marriage, you know, when, when I messed up my floor, you know, <laughs> I mean, so, yeah. You know, yeah. so that that was the whole purpose is that you know I'm I've come up with a product to to make your time camping a lot more enjoyable and and I'm, like I said my memories is is like as far as I I can't think of doing anything I I mean to be honest with you if you ask me to tell you a story about staying at a hotel or a motel or anything like that when I was younger <laughs> we never did that we always were in our camper we never we never went to hotels it was, it was camping our camper was our life so yeah. um, it just it, so it just it's ingrained in my mentality and, and my, and, and I've done the same thing with my children. You know, I've got them where my, my children and my grandchildren now, I've got them where they want to go, you know, go, Hey, when are we going to go camping again? When are we going to go to the Springs? Mm-hmm. Um, when are we going to go here? When go there, you know, so uh, to keep, you know, to keep that camping lifestyle going. So. Yeah, that's great. That's fantastic. That's, that's just it. You know, I think that's why we all RV, you know, you, you nailed it. It's, you know, we're, we're not really creating memories going to a hotel, you know, it's, it's getting out there. It's the journey is, is part of it too. You know, it's how did you get there and, and how did you stay? And, and, you know, it's a different yeah. connection with your family and everything. Right. I mean, I've never, I've never seen a single hotel where I can sit out there and buy a campfire and make s'mores every night. <laughs> 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 I yep. mean, it's like, I don't care. I'm in Florida. If it's, you know, if it's 90 degrees, I still have a campfire every time we go camping because yep. that's a part of it. I just tell people, I said, all you do is put the chairs right in the back in the heat. So, you know, yep. I mean, but you got to have that campfire when you're camping and you can't do that at the hotels and, and you just don't have, you just don't have that con- togetherness and stuff, the adventures that you get when you're camping versus staying at the hotel. So yep. I mean, that's, that's, that's the way I feel about it. So, yeah, absolutely. I, I couldn't agree more. Well, I think that's, uh, let's, let's wrap it up then for the, uh, for the recording. Um, any last words for everybody out there listening in? No, I just appreciate everybody taking a chance and, uh, um, ordering uh, the easy store hitch from rvcoco.com. Um, I think you're going to find out once you get it, you're going to realize like, how did I not have this before? And you know, how, what, you know, this makes my life so much easier. So I, I really anticipate everybody who orders, is going to be completely happy with, with the product. Um, it's, one thing I didn't mention either, it is, it is made in the USA. It's, yes. yes. Um, it's, made of, it's, it's die, uh, it's, uh, all the steel is pressed out of the die, so it's die cast, so it's a consistency there. Mm-hmm. It's all robotic welded. It's all robotic welded and powder coated for durability. So it's, 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 when you, when you get the product, it is a high quality product. That's when you, you know, cause some people I think will get a feedback with a little bit on the price, but you know what? When people get it, they realize this is not a cheap, flimsy device that's going to that's going to fall apart on it. Matter of fact, it comes with a lifetime guarantee on the structural. Um, you know, it's like if 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 any of the welds ever break or anything like that, which I don't see it ever happening. But if it does, um, you just contact me back and and I'll ship you another unit right away. It's it's um, that's it's a very high quality and it's consistent by being the robotic welded and being the uh, um, um, pressed out of die you know out of the steel with the die. So it's all the you know, there's no every product is exactly the same, and I think they're gonna, you know, you'll love it if you buy it, um, and you know, it, it's it's something that you're gonna realize, and it's just, it was a great investment for you. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, perfect. All righty, well, thanks, Terry. Thanks for your time. Uh, maybe we can do it again sometime. <laughs> these are, oh, it sounds like fun. fun. I've enjoyed it. I <laughs> yeah. enjoy it. So perfect. All right, thanks a lot. All right, all right. Take care.